Welcome back to America Right Now. I'm Tom Basili. From the Ten Commandments to the Golden Rule, there's no better teacher than the Bible for how to demonstrate a love and respect for God by actively exhibiting respect for ourselves and each other. The Bible provides the clearest roadmap for living and, for that matter, human advancement that has ever been conceived. Christ's teachings on tolerance, and love, forgiveness, inclusion, and respecting our bodies remain the simplest way to guide people on how to live well and coexist in peace. From these teachings sprang the very foundations of Western society, including those given full effect in the U.S. Constitution. People of faith don't need new secular methods to teach people how to live. Left-wing extremists, though, they have other ideas. After helping to strip God from American society, secular leftists are now trying to fashion a new roadmap for society, including their push for the incorporation of equity, inclusion, and diversity programs into every institution, including schools, even Catholic and religious schools. Beware, folks. When Catholic and other parochial schools incorporate these secular initiatives, created and supported by leftist donors at odds with biblical teaching, they legitimize the whole pantheon of ideas and movements that are further separating Americans from God. Critical race theory, transgender ideology, white fragility, alternative histories of the United States, victimhood culture, identity politics, restorative justice, racially divisive equity programs, cancel culture, Satanism, promiscuity, abortion, euthanasia, permissive drug use, pornography, climate anxiety, and much, much more. They are all part of the same political ecosystem of moneyed far-left forces that are diametrically opposed to biblical principles and the teachings of the church. All of those extremist movements espouse values or ideas that promote collectivism, statism, authoritarianism, and forcibly diminish biblical truth in our society. Parochial school parents are not safe from this. They must be on guard for the incorporation of secular teaching tools born out of left-wing ideology in our classrooms. School administrators, both lay and religious, must appreciate that parents across this country are justified in having a heightened situational awareness about this indoctrination. Americans are watching. They are watching public education in this country collapse under teachers' unions who seem to care much more about transgenderism than reading scores. They've seen leftists slyly insert radical social engineering into everything from classrooms to cartoons. They have watched as parents have been told that they aren't entitled to information about curriculum or even their child's mental and physical health. Some of the formerly most trusted brands in education have been totally co-opted by leftist ideology. Scholastic books, we probably all read scholastic books. They are all in on promoting gender fluidity. The American Library Association is now run by an admitted Marxist who advocated at a conference over Labor Day weekend for public education and libraries to be, quote, sites of socialist organizing. Some of the nation's most prominent schools are openly repressing ideologically conservative, patriotic, and faith-aligned speech. A student at Colorado last month was suspended because he had a Gadsden flag patch on his book bag. The school said the patch was racist. Of course, that's a lie. Schools are now allowing biological boys to access girls' locker rooms and play on their sports teams. What most rational people would consider pornography is being placed in school and public libraries to say nothing about this sudden surge in drag queens needing to read to children. One Catholic school in a red state recently attempted to insert something called social emotional learning into their religion class curriculum, of all things. What administrators and teachers may not have known when they attempted to use that methodology is that the former president and CEO of the Collaborative for Academic, Social, and Emotional Learning had stated that the program should actively contribute to anti-racism and advance educational equity. Now, for those who haven't been following along, educational equity is the same rationale that is used to justify the elimination of honors classes, refusal to tell white and Asian students about national merit scholarships, eliminating grading and other corrosive education agendas. Anti-racism, we have discovered, is patently racist in similar fashion to the leftist anti-fascist movement that is decidedly fascist in its tactics. Creators of the program have also been tied to critical race theory. CASEL, which is the organization, is supported by Bill and Melinda Gates, 
Mark Zuckerberg's foundation and the Novo Foundation. Now, this is how the left works, folks. The Novo Foundation, which has supported Black Lives Matter and a range of other left-wing groups, is supported by the Tides Foundation, which takes millions and millions of dollars from George Soros's Open Society Foundations. There is absolutely no legitimate reason that any program or teaching method supported by Gil B Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, or George Soros should be infused into a Catholic or a parochial school, even with the best of intentions. Incidentally, this is precisely why people of faith continue to lose ground in this country. The left has this massive network of nonprofits that are actually highly political organizations that promote social policies that aim to change the DNA of the country itself. Catholic and other parochial schools must hold the line. This is a spiritual battle, folks, between statists and those whose roadmap for living is the Holy Bible. With public school test scores sinking and values-based education all but dead in this country, parochial schools are the last stronghold against the secular moral relativist establishment. Christ is the good shepherd, but that doesn't mean that we should be sheep. Stay alert, folks.